What are your memories of your grandfather? Because I can well imagine that your memories must be kind of tangled up with watching Doctor Who and the fact that your grandfather was Doctor Who. Um, yes, absolutely. But can I just say something about that episode, which I also haven't seen since the original? Um, and what a bizarre programme it is that we can go from the sort of weirdly amateurish fighting with Daleks and holding things to yeah. your neck and fluffs to a beautiful, which, which made me cry at the end, you know, yeah. to a lovely bit of proper acting, if you see what I mean. But it, it's, it's fantastic because it it's of its time, so it is unsophisticated in many ways and yet can still move you 60 years later to something... So, so I think this, it is somewhat magical that everyone forgives the, the unsophisticated bits and gets wrapped up in it somehow. I mean, I, it's a bizarre phenomenon somehow. I think the wonderful thing about 60s Doctor Who is that there is so much love for it when it was made. Not saying there isn't now, but there's time in those early episodes where you can have these wonderful, wonderful scenes. I often give the example now that in the new series, where it's rush, 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 it's all done so quickly, whereas in the 60s, they would take half an episode to decide whether to go outside. <laughs> but I love that. I used to love growing up with... Never knew what was going to be either. No, quite right too. Quite right too, Carol. So you're quite right that those old scenes are just wonderful and they just did the best they could. But how do you think your grandfather actually... Um, what did he feel about doing the part? Well, I know, I mean, I obviously I was a child, quite little, and um, I only know a lot of the information from researching it and looking back. Um, and I do have quite distinct, obviously, my relationship to my grandfather was muddled up with seeing him more on the screen than I saw him in real life. So, you know, my grandfather was Doctor Who and Doctor Who was my grandfather. It was very complicated in my head. Although it's, if you only know that, that's all you know. So your grand, you see your grandfather every Saturday on the television. But I do know that um, in terms of this episode, he, I mean, he was, you know, a difficult man and had his problems and all that kind of thing. And the fluffs came, I think, from the theatrical nature of it, the lack of time and him getting older and all that kind of thing. But when required to do some proper bit of real acting, oh, that sounds a silly thing to say, but, you know, that last speech was really moving and really truthful. And the truth is he probably was really emotional about it because he, he, he adored Carol, Carol Ann, sorry. He adored her. And so I suspect there was an awful lot of genuine distress at her going and that that hug he gave her was genuine and I know he tried to persuade her not to leave so um, I think that you know it, it informed the truthfulness I, and I really believed that Doctor Who and my grandfather was really really sad at Caroline going and I think it informed that scene which is why it still moves us to this day, because it was genuine. And he, the only way you could do a programme like that, I mean, don't forget it was shot so many weeks of the year, he was literally churning it out. And it was a small cast, and they were doing it week in, week out. Almost like they, rep. Yeah, 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 repertory yeah, yeah. Theater. And they were a family. And so to, to change things, um, your family, you have security, the same people around you gives you security. When it changes, you know, particularly as you get older, it's harder to cope with change. And I think he probably found it quite distressing, the thought of going on without Caroline. Um, and they did become a family. And I think that um, from what I gather, you know, he hated change, didn't want to lose um, the people he knew and trusted. And so I'm, I'm sure that it was quite an emotional episode to do. Um, so it's a bizarre mixture, that episode, I think, of fantastic acting, funny, you know, fluffs and things looking very unsophisticated and, 
and yet a real truthfulness about this little band that were together. And the only way you could make all the daft bits of unsophisticated technology work in terms of the programme was if you took it really seriously. And he was, he was a, you know, he took himself seriously as an actor and put as much care into doing the programme as he would if it had been Shakespeare or whatever. So I think that part of the, you know, part of his legacy was that he took the story serious, the stories seriously. And because he was a, you know, a very good actor, I think his acting stands the test of time. In